Hello and welcome to episode 5 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth faction in our Mega Build series, Cycle 8, Day 14, at the beginning of a 5-day Bad Tide cycle. Last time, we greatly improved our, well, almost everything. Got back in the swing of things after mods broke. Uh, continued expanding down here, got some mangroves, which actually are ready to harvest. Let's go ahead and unpause those. Get King Tutties in here, harvesting all these guys and improving our food situation because, well, uh, let's face it, it's not great. <laughs> We've got a, a sharply declining population of fermented cassavas and fermented soybeans for our beavers to take part in because a lot of our land is unusable thanks to the bad tide, but we're going to attempt to fix that today. Uh, we've got a pretty good idea of what we need to continue doing to keep everything uh, set up in the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. A lot of you have suggested that I blast down underneath all of these uh, paths and everything right here and make these into canals, and we're going to do that. Uh, we're also going to blast around here, so this whole central area is actually going to be 5x5 five five in terms of... Uh, keeping water in so we're going to need to make sure that we have enough dynamite and more importantly uh, we're going to have to get our centrifuges up and running which we don't have the science for quite yet we do have everything else we need to make that happen we just have to get up to 600 science so we're going to see how long it takes to do that we've got plenty of other things to uh, to accomplish here but that uh, chiefly among those is going to be our food situation now we do have some soybeans We've got some canola oil. We just have to actually get them moved through here and ready for consumption. And we've got to figure out a way to make it so our kohlrabis are not quite so subject to all of this bad tide nonsense. And of course, the easiest way for us to solve that is going to be to put irrigation barriers in. But that also requires us to have access to our wood workshop, uh, which is currently locked behind science. We're gonna see if we can get that open today. I'm not going to hold my breath too much for that. But uh, again, we'll see what happens. It's going to take a little bit of creativity because, uh, well, we, we have a lot of uh, a lot of food shortcoming to make up. And we don't want our viewers to die of starvation. So uh, there's not really much else we can do at this exact moment. We do have plenty of berries that can be picked. Uh, we just have to make it happen. So we'll go ahead and get a triple speed on. It's about to be nighttime anyway for our beavers. Uh, good news, though, is that we have the start of a very good tree farm here in the process of planting these. We're going to do the same treatment with our our little canals here, but that's going to take us quite some time to get through because, well, these trees have to be chopped down after they're fully grown. And we're not really in a position right now to do too much of that. We also have some trees growing here, and we've got more that we want to plant, uh, but part of the uh, problem we're going to run into is the bad water infecting all of this. Again, that is going to be a problem that is going to be solved by irrigation barriers and pretty much nothing else. I had a couple of comments say that, hey, you can just put a levees here. That doesn't work anymore. That was a temporary change earlier on, earlier on excuse me, in uh, Update 5 Experimental. But uh, as you can see, we have levees right here and these six tiles to the left are just as infected as these that don't have anything on the side. So Good idea. Unfortunately, doesn't work anymore because they've been changing, I don't know, three, four, five, six times the way irrigation works here. So the only way for us to stop this is going to be to have an irrigation barrier in place. That's it. That's the only only possible way to do it. So that is going to be what we are going to focus on if we can get there today. We'll see what happens. But I think uh, long term, we're going to be just fine. We just have to make sure that we have enough science to take care of everything. We currently have 44 open beds, 12 job vacancies, and we certainly have our work cut out for us. But again, I think we're going to be just fine. We're going to be moving them uh, back and forth between different jobs anyway. Also want to make sure we have a good amount of bad water pump. That's what these guys are working on right here with our medium tanks and everything. So we should be in good shape there. Uh, we also want to go ahead and get these areas prepped and ready to go in terms of how things are going to be irrigated but uh, that honestly is not a huge priority for me right now because we have so many other things we probably need to be uh, involving ourselves with so we have three of these uh, pumping out three science per hour 18 working hours it's gonna be a couple more days before we get to 600 unless we uh, make these into slightly more appealing 
job placements. And I know it's the end of the day, so they're not going to be really doing too much more. But that's not going to be that bad of a thing. Our builder site, we're not currently building that much right now, so I'm actually going to slightly deprioritize it. I don't think that's going to be that big of a problem right now, but we'll see what happens. We'll be okay. Food-wise, uh, it's not nearly as dire as it was at the beginning of the episode. I know a lot of you were a little concerned about that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, some of these are very much not ready to be harvested, but enough does come up every now and again that we're not completely in panic mode. But obviously we still need to be concerned. So uh, 600 science, we're just about there. We will get there today now that we have six of these guys going. Should actually not be too much longer at all. And this is something that's going to require power. So we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of rearrangement here because of how these things are set up. The centrifuge is a 3x3 three three building. And the way this stuff is currently set up, we don't have room for it. But we also have all these extra houses. So what I'm going to do... Let's see, we've got berries here, soybeans, explosives, gears. Um, let's move the berries over to this one just to get this out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead, since we have the science... I don't know, do I want to go this way? I'll, I'll go this way. That's probably for the best. I know this is ugly. Don't worry. It's not going to stay like this. This is just temporary. So we can actually have access to all of this stuff. So now what we get to do is come over here with another medium tank. And we can make this into extract storage, which is that little beaker icon right there. I guess technically it's a flask. I don't know if I remember my... Uh, 6th and 7th grade science class stuff. I guess that would be a... I guess that would be a flask. There's a specific name for it. And I want to I want to say it's an Erlenmeyer flask, but that could be wrong. Anyway, we'll, we'll just ignore that. I'm sure if we have anybody in, in the comments who actually works in the field of science, they'll be kind enough to correct me if I have misspoken. Well, let's go ahead... And uh, get this going. I, it's not the biggest of priorities. But obviously, we want to make sure we have enough uh, bad water in place to make explosives and to refine into extract. We're going to want the extract to blast our uh, our dynamite down. We do want to unlock the double dynamite. We don't have the science for it quite yet. But we're making our way there. We're going to make it happen. And look at that. Just like that, we have 123 fermented soybeans. I told you it wasn't as big of a problem as you guys were thinking. But uh, definitely something to pay attention to. And now the bad tide is over. Cycle 9 begins. And we can replant our kohlrabis, which we will do with great enthusiasm. Definitely want to get at least one or two cycles of these. When, when I say cycle, I don't mean this cycle. I mean planting cycles. Want to get as much of that as we can. The canola is going to be easy to grow in that period of time as well as the cassavas. I know that we uh, are not going to be able to keep all of this, but we will be able to grow and continue to harvest in a That's What Matters. So how are we looking here? Just about done? Good. All right, centrifuge. We got Jatendria Kumbar, and we got Brian Ott here working for us, spinning things around to make all sorts of fun extracty things. Oh, look what I did. I uh, <laughs> I put this in the way. I, this is so ugly. It's it's temporary. I promise you. We're gonna we're gonna fix this. This is just our uh, attempt at uh, not being completely stupid here. Actually, there's no reason for berry storage to be all the way up here. We want berry storage. Yeah, we actually just want berry storage to be there. That is a okay. This could be for something else. What do we not have storage for? Well, actually, probably most of this. Fermented cassava. Don't have any storage for that? Okay. Well, that's an easy problem to solve. Oh, this is so ugly. Why did I do this? Why did I have this set up like this? Well, regardless, we are, in fact, making extract. That's good to see. We want to make sure we're not getting rid of all of our extract. We do want to keep making some dynamite. Uh, but I believe... I believe having the 300-ish that we do is going to be plenty for when we actually have to have extract in place. Keep in mind that uh, extract is going to be used one at a time for the double dynamite, two at a time for the triple. I'm probably only going to unlock the double for right now, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. 
so it's actually in case you were curious it's actually slightly more efficient to use the double dynamite than it is the uh, single dynamite with no extract because each unit of extract takes four units of bad water and each unit of dynamite takes five so in case you were curious obviously the uh, the triple dynamite is a little bit more efficient than that as well because of the same reasons but I know it's very tempting to just say, okay, well, why why would you bother building the centrifuge and going through all the other refinement stuff when you could just put a strip down and detonate it and then put another strip down and detonate it? Okay, well, I guess maybe that would have been faster. But uh, this way, we don't have to rely solely on the explosives factory. Hey, devilish fun, working in explosives once again. Um, but yeah, we, we don't have to rely solely on this. We can actually get a lot more bang for our buck, quite literally, by having both of those working in tandem. We just want to make sure we don't completely uh, don't completely forsake our dynamite production because we're going to need a lot of it. Uh, to do what I want to do, I think we're going to need a couple hundred. Uh, even if we just do uh, this guy by himself, it's going to be at least 100 sticks of dynamite, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because this will be, well, this is like 17 or 19 wide times 2 plus this and that and the other. So if, if we didn't have the extract, it would be considerably more. 29 extract definitely is not going to be enough so we're going to have to have that keep going for a little while but why don't we go ahead uh just for the time being since we're already here let's do let's do this one strip i don't have the uh, oh that's right we can't because i don't have the double dynamite unlocked but we didn't need this pathway here anyway because this doesn't really go anywhere but uh, i want to prevent the berries from spreading so we'll just put that right back in no harm no foul just one of those things we should probably have kept uh, better tabs on. Oh well, live and learn. We are making metal that is going pretty well. I just I need to get more I need to get more guys in here doing sciency things because we have a uh, we have an increasing number of beavers, which is good, but uh, it still is not quite enough. Well, that's just the way it goes. We will just have to take it as we get it. Other things we're going to look at today while we're waiting. Um, I want to organize storage. Obviously, this is not an ideal situation, but I don't want to commit to completely taking everything apart until we have a better idea of how everything is going to be laid out and we have a few more beavers in place. We still have plenty of room in our uh, four large barracks here. Uh, I can get rid of these, and then we're going to have, I guess, five homeless beavers, so we do need to continue building this out. We just need to decide exactly what this is going to look like. Uh, I was originally going to have this, and this be the boundaries of our little square thing here. So if we if we take a pause here real quick, just so I can lay this out, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this all, don't worry. But let's pretend that's elevated for a second. If we have our deep water pumps, obviously I can't place these right now, but if we have these set up in a situation like this, we have one here, one here, one here, one here, that leaves us a path around the outside. Or we could offset it by one and go in one, have one, two, three, four like this. And then if that's there, then we could turn this around and have that one there as well. That's going to give us space on the other side. One for a path, then turn this around, then two more here. That would come all the way to the outside. So I'm not sure that's exactly the right way to be doing things. So we might have to play around with this, might have to move... Uh, these inboard, and by inboard I mean over here, one, or figure something else out. It doesn't really have to be symmetrical, but that's the idea that I had. If we do that, let's uh, go ahead and get rid of this here. Get rid of that. Uh, just for the sake of landing here, let's just, we're going to get rid of these, don't worry. If we have all of this go all the way down here, and all I did was place large bear, so it would give us five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 with this extra space here. Now remember we had this set uh, back a little bit because of how we have, uh, how we have excuse me, uh, this in here. This obviously does not need to be here anymore. So we can actually while we're here get rid of all that. They can just pick up the pieces. Uh, use that to our advantage. I have this path here. If we want to keep the same kind of thing in place uh, we would have to because of the way this uh, has been laid out. We'd have to actually offset this very, very slightly. Remember, this is 
three layers in. So this would actually be right here. You see how that like con conflicts right there? So the idea that I had was if we're going to keep the same spacing left to right, put in four of these, and then we actually have space right here in the middle to put another one here, or we have a five wide space that we can then come in with our medium warehouses and actually stack of those just like so. Have some nice uh, food storage in between and then a path through to the other side where we would then leave a little bit of a gap and then do this exact same thing that we've already done and either have a three gap here or figure something else out. I think I'm, I'm kind of partial to the idea of having a, uh, a two wide gap just for the sake of putting gravity batteries down the middle or hear me out since houses conduct power we have flywheels i obviously can't build these right now but we can use their ghosts and they'll tolerate water if if i place these this is going to charge me 10k science which i obviously don't have so let's just pretend here these are five on a side so if we did if we started here that would be here here and then here so that would block but obviously we, we can adjust we can do different things I think I want to use the flywheels and the uh, the height of the little spindle in the center is enough to actually connect here. So that's going to be fine. We'll figure it out. But I think this would be a really cool way to hide, quote unquote, some power, have this be nice and tall. And we could probably, if we did this all the way around this entire thing, this would accommodate a lot of beavers. Let's, let's do some quick math. These are 16 a piece. So if we had eight times 16. Forgive me for using a calculator. Remember, I was a music major for two years, and then I, then I finished with uh, communications, so I'm not a math whiz. So this is 128 capacity right here, 256 right here if we did the same thing on the other side, and then we have eight more of these guys. So each one of these sizes is 512. That's capacity for 2048 beavers. We're not going to be able to have 2048 beavers on this whole map, so we, we probably don't need to do it like this. We could easily, easily forego this back row, and that would have a capacity for 1,028 on one single level. That's pretty cool. We also probably can't ever have 1,024 beavers. <laughs> so, in the likely event that I have committed math sins in my uh, analysis there, please do let me know in the comments. Again, I am terrible at math. I will never try to convince you that I am good at math or have any idea of what I am doing, but just just so you can get an idea of our options here, we don't have to do it like this. We have a we have a bunch of different ways to get stuff done. But in the event that we wanted to have a thousand beavers, that's how we could do it. Just a single story row all the way around the outside. Or if we felt like it and the game decides not to crash, thank you, uh, we could kind of split this up. We could do different pod style designs. Or we could even, instead of using large barracks, we could just put in the small ones. Because these only hold 10, whereas these hold 16. And I don't want to redo all that math again, but uh, suffice to say it would hold considerably fewer. There's also no, uh, no reason to really overbuild if we decided that we wanted to have a thousand beavers. Again, I don't know if my computer can handle it. We're going to try. We're going to see what we can get done. But there's also, there's plenty of other things we can put in there too. Like, let's not forget... Uh, we have a mighty need for large storage, and the large warehouse is the same size as these. So if we wanted to, we could kind of alternate, although they wouldn't uh, transfer power between them, unless we did some sort of a, a wizardry thing with flywheels and different uh, power shafts and all that. So we've got options. If you have any ideas that you think would be cool regarding how our housing is laid out, please do leave them in the comments. I do always read those, and I very much appreciate your input. But let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing here. That was just a, a little side tangent. Uh, Food-wise, we're looking really good, uh, relatively speaking. I know some of you may disagree, but we are producing a nice amount of food here. And i uh, going to want to keep an eye on our bad water supply. I think, I think it's probably going to behoove us to have at least enough to do a double double depth of all of this. Let's, let's actually just count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's going to be a lot more than we currently have in terms of extract. We probably want to get eh, probably want to get at least into the 70s in terms of how much extract we have. But we, uh, we're about to be out of bad water. 
So let's go ahead, just for the sake of actually having the dynamite, let's pause the centrifuge. And we will uh, we'll keep the rest of this for actual dynamite. Now remember, 14 times 2 is 28, times 2 is going to be 56. And we have 54 extract. We also don't have any more for this. And this is going to be, well, yeah, this is 5, 10. That's going to be another 18. So I didn't think it was going to jump all the way back up to 84. So I guess there was quite a bit left in the, uh, the centrifuge here. We're not consuming the bad water anywhere else, are we? I don't think so. Oh, and we can, uh, we can start harvesting at least some of these trees. Let's go ahead and do that. Unlock one of those guys. Yeah, I'm going to... I already, I already forgot how much I said I was going to have to have, but I think we're going to have to have about 80, 80 extract, 80 explosives. So guess what? I'm going to turn this back on. I, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but we're going to do it. Yeah, I, th I think that'll be fine. Just need to make sure we're keeping an eye on it. And now it says we're out. Now it says we're out of extract. Or out of bad water, excuse me. 83 explosives should be enough. Should be enough. How much is in here? 43. Okay, so they've they've actually loaded it up. That's good. I think. I think this should be enough. I'm gonna pause the explosives factory just so we can uh, try and get up there. I think I think this is gonna be enough for us to at least do part of it. We don't necessarily have to have the whole thing all the way to the end double depth. In fact, I think uh, what some of you were suggesting, and I'm sorry, I gotta pause this again so I don't let it get away from me. Some of you were suggesting that the ends here just get blasted down one, and we put a dam piece in here, which would eliminate the need to have a fluid dump, because this is constantly being filled. And our droughts, since they're only nine days, would never get low enough to, uh, to dry this whole thing out. Plus, most of the channel would be too deep. If we do that, then I think we're going to have some sort of a recipe for success. Also, we're not going to go all the way to the end here because then we're going to get bad water in uh, when these go off. So my idea is one deep here and here. And then we need to make sure this middle section's too deep and then at least half of this too deep. And uh, that should be doable with what we have now. Again, the, the 61 extract. Uh, if we did this middle bit, that's 18 that would get us the ability to do most of the middle of this down too deep, at least for this one one thing, and that will give us... I don't know if it's going to give us extra range to protect against the bad tides. Probably not, but it will keep the crops irrigated, and we don't have to have the fluid dump. Well, we're not, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm, I am going to pause it, just in case we ever need to use it in an emergency situation, but that would free up a beaver job, and, or we could put it up back on a timer or whatever based on what we were doing before. Anyway, that being said, um, I am going to check this real quick. We've got 31 bad water in here. We still have 15 stored in here. I, I do want to try and get a little bit more in the way of extract and then uh, maybe get this up to 70 or so extract and then uh, we'll see what, we can, see what we can make happen here. Now there is still some extract here that hasn't been processed or hasn't been removed, rather. This has got to be pulled out. So when this gets up to... Okay, there it goes. Now it's up to 69 in the storage. 70, 71. I figured this would have been... Uh, would have been kept up a little better. Got two there. Zero there. Yeah, I, there's some sort of flux with the way that the uh, extract is going. But I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and pause this. I don't know what else they've got hiding wherever. This should be enough for us to mess with right now. We have It looks like we have two left. We couldn't have even used that anyway. So that's fine. Let's go to single speed. I know it's the end of the day, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and demolish this entire path. And remember, we're going to come in here, and I can almost research the double dynamite. We're going to do single dynamite here. And then, I guess that's probably the only one I really need to do at this exact moment. I, I figured we were going to get to 900 before the end of the day, but I guess 
I guess I was wrong. Let's actually, ha 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 ha, I got a secret up my sleeve. And it's called a 20 hour workday surprise. Uh, let's get this up to 900 so I can get them uh, researched here. Come on. There we go. All right, back down to 18 hour workday. You can all go to sleep. Let's research our double dynamite. There we go. So now this whole thing, since we are workday done. Let's first get this ring detonated out. And then once we have that in place, we will figure out what to do from there. I am going to have to put in, yep, see, I need to stop taking out the before it's ready to be detonated. This dynamite ready to go. And we can go ahead. This hasn't even completely filled up yet. Huh, I figured this would have been... Well, it's not going to unless we get these... You guys are going to argue in the comments again. By hydraulic function, these are weirs. Because this is not technically a castle. But uh, we need to get the rest of this kind of uh, filled in a little bit. So I'm probably going to put dams around the outside of this just to keep this level up enough to where we can take care of the rest of this. But that is going to be something that is going to take a considerable amount of time. But not something that isn't worth doing, so I will go ahead and put these in here. And I guess if they really want, they can just kind of come around the outside. But now, oh, they didn't quite get everything in place. That's unfortunate. Well, this is probably something we should have done quite some time ago. We're going to have to do this around the entire outside as well. I don't know if we can get this accomplished before we have our next drought or bad tide. But we'll see what happens. It's not the end of the world if we don't. We have plenty of other stuff to keep ourselves busy with. Let's not forget. All right, get these last two in place. Nobody's coming over here, right? All right, let's blast this. Okay, so now we can see, obviously, the water level is going to be substantially lower because we just super increased the amount of space that it takes up. So we're also going to have to do double platforms around this entire thing and then have the paths set up as well. Let's prioritize these platforms, get those built first. And then once that's in place, now we're going to have a much better idea of what's happening here. We have 57 extract, which is actually enough to blast all of this too deep, I believe. Because we're not going to do here, and we're not going to do here. So now, now you have me, uh, now you have me intrigued. Well, not you specifically, because I have no idea what you're thinking as you're watching the video. But you, um, in the general sense of what the game has going on, I guess we should say. Good news is we do have some mangrove fruits. They are being eaten about as as quickly as they're being harvested. But uh, we do have some that haven't been yet, and these trees we haven't been able to uh, super take care of yet. But Brian Ott's over here in the Lumberjack flag cutting down some oaks, so our supply of wood is looking extremely good. And we actually have a surplus. Wow, really? A surplus of beavers? How about that? But it's not really a surplus of beavers because one of them is supposed to work at this gatherer flag. And I have a couple of these other things turned off that don't need to be turned off. So I'll tell you what. Let's unpause this lumberjack flag and there's nothing over here that we need to have unpaused quite yet just need to make sure we're keeping track of what we're supposed to be doing and this stuff is also paused as well we don't really need to be that worried about it now water su water supply is something that we want to uh maybe improve a little bit so let's take a second to uh where am i going to be able to put this I guess since nothing else is here, I'll just put one of those in right there. And we'll probably have to come in over here and get this set up like so. I thought they were going to take care of this tree. Did I not mark this for cutting? No, I did. They just haven't gotten around to it. But we're going to want to put in a bunch more of these pumps that we can have ready to go at a moment's notice. That'll be fine. 
Let's actually uh, get that constructed because I'm pretty sure within the next day or two we're going to get that drought or bad tide warning. And we don't want to uh, don't want to get caught with our pants down, so to speak. That would be uh, quite quite the problem. So I think that's too far. Well, also because this hasn't been built, I think based off of the uh, distance they'll typically go, I'm going to need to have this gone over to at least right there. We'll have this, I guess, just go all the way across so they can reach it. We're gonna have to have another set of uh, another set of what do you want to call it? Platform bridges, whatever. I like the idea of things being symmetrical, even if it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. I think it looks nice. Good way to uh, keep track of exactly what you have going on. So if we can have this all set up. Uh, we can actually force the water to go in to this side or go over the side here. We probably also want to have dams set up or at least floodgates, possibly. But that could be another cycle or two in the future. We just have so much, we have so much other stuff going on right now. Kind of hard to keep track of all of it. But we'll do our best. Let's go ahead and prioritize our water pumps here. So we haven't gotten that warning yet, but I know we don't want to get caught without uh, having all of that taken care of. So now that this is taken care of over here, I'm going to pause so these bushes don't mess with me again. See, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is just what I was able to put in. And I'm going to do the same thing probably here next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, like so. Obviously, I can't do all of these at the same time, but we just have to have some of this set up uh, for them to be able to actually use it. But these dams getting put in, that's good. We just uh, are going to have a hard time doing the rest of them, but it is going to be something we're glad in the future to have done. So these guys are currently building pumps, and they're currently being staffed, which is good news. Food-wise, we're making some good improvements. Still have a lot to... Uh, a lot to do in that regard, but but it is very good to have at least a little bit of stock of the uh, the fermented soybeans and everything. It's going to be a process. We're going to get into and uh, not going to be not going to be finished overnight, but it'll be nice once it's all done. And we have science as well that we can tap into. Uh, what was I going to do? Research the irrigation barrier. Can't use those yet. Um, let's get a wood workshop up and running. We have the 800 science. Uh, I'm going to sense... Uh, I don't really have space up here. I'm going to go ahead. Since we're already going to have wood, I know we don't have planks, but we can fix that. Metal blocks, logs, we can easily put something else in here. Let's go ahead and put the wood workshop, since I know this is already making enough power to... Well, almost enough power to put both of these in place. We can do that, and then I can actually put a second wheel in place. Oh, not yet, because they haven't gotten all those out. I could put this in this way, but I don't think that's something we want to mess with quite yet. If we get this done, I will go ahead and put a couple of small piles, just because this metal is in the way. We can have some planks and some treated planks. Now I can hear you say you don't even have a tapper shack yet. Why'd you go ahead and build this? Well, the simple reason is I forgot. <laughs> but it's also only 500 science to get this, and we're going to have that within the next day or two. Plus, having this ready to go is definitely going to be an advantage for us here. We have plenty of pine trees up in this side of the map to take advantage of that aren't going to be killed, so we'll just put the tapper shack up here as soon as we have that science unlocked. Okay, just a regular drought, not a bad tide. Definitely, definitely good to see that. Now, we have these dams here. Since this is going to be just a regular drought, I'm going to go ahead, I know, pausing the game again, I'm going to go ahead and dam this stuff up. Because if it's not a bad tide, it doesn't matter to have the water hold up here. And I would like to be able to keep this irrigated as we continue working on all the rest of our stuff. So that can be a nice priority there. In our science, currently we have, well, maybe about half of these, two-thirds of these working. That's going to be enough to get us to 500. 
before it starts to be a problem that this is built and has nothing else. Because remember, they're going to build the dams first. And if we have, at the very least, the ability to uh, have water up here still, we can focus on farming. And the drought's not going to be any longer than nine days, so it's not going to matter that there's no water flowing through this. We'll just have to get a little bit creative, possibly, now the rest of this stuff is working out. All right, so yeah, they're working on that. Look at that finished up. We still don't have the 500 science, which is fine. And we can always come down here if we really needed to. We can always come down here with a uh, a power wheel. I know it's our favorite favorite means of making stuff. We also are not uh, are not impossible for us to use engines. I know I, I don't really like using those. I think they just take up a whole bunch of space and labor that we don't otherwise need to use. Even though. Even though they don't require um, a beaver to actually work there, they do take hauling power, which, I mean, we have 10, but that is kind of a far distance, and I don't want them to have to uh, expend too much energy to get down here. So this is just about done. We'll get this pathed over. Go ahead and get that set as well. And that's going to keep some water in here. That's going to be real nice. And we have plenty, well technically plenty of water it's really not all that much but we'll make do I do wish they would put this uh this dynamite in I know I had the builders prioritize putting these in but it is going to be important to have this still up here and a couple of you asked in the comments hey why haven't you uh, why haven't you dammed this up yet well now we have that'll fix that problem pretty easy so uh th these will not automatically close when a drought starts so we might have to, uh, ah, we're not going to be able to override these. So I'm going to have to actually program, you have to program this when a drought starts to have the height go up to two. Because here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this go up to two, so it retains all the water here. And then we can actually come in here, uh, blast this down, and we can put in floodgates so that we can uh, keep this nice and filled up. Plus, we you know probably should prevent the water from escaping whenever we do come in here and put in all the pumps in the corner. All right, I think we just have the one side left. We have half a day. They have actually put all of everything in, so that's looking good. Nope, not that one. There we go. All right, so those should shoot up immediately, and I think this is the first one. There we go. Good to go. All right, so they're building all of this stuff. Man, they are going to town cutting these trees down, man. I'll tell you what. All these little seedlings here. We're going to have to make sure that everything is set up exactly how we want to do it. I don't want to plant mangrove trees. Let me click. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. There we go. Oak trees. Let's pause. I know it's probably driving some of you completely insane, the amount of pausing that I do with this. But I really, really want to make sure we're doing this the right way and that includes not uh completely forsaking <laughs> all of our planning here uh, the reason i'm doing this is so that these uh trees here don't grow into the uh into the aisle so to speak because we remember we are going to be blasting this out eventually when we get to that point but 0.2 days left uh we haven't haven't built this, and that's good because we don't have to build it during the drought because it can't really be used during the drought. So we'll just pause that construction, and we'll have them focus on other stuff. They've got a decent number of dams built here, so that's good progress. And it looks like this is nice and full, and it is. It's completely full. So there's a the drought. Seven days. That is A-OK. -okay. We'll be able to survive just fine. We have a thousand water. The only problem is we're not going to be able to refine any more food because, there, well, there's no uh, there's no power here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause all of these pumps. A thousand water is plenty for us to get through, and that's going to give us a bunch of beavers. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we're going to build some additional builder's huts and uh, get these guys working here make a, a bunch of construction progress because that's something we have the ability to do here yeah I'll just stick these remember this is all kind of temporary how we have this set up just want to make sure we're making 
good use of all of our beaver resources. Uh, I'm not going to dynamite this out right now because there is a limited amount of water. These turkeys. I forgot. I forgot that the automated floodgate controls override override these. <sighs> okay, disable during drought. I forgot to check that box. So... So now what? Did I did I set this in the wrong order? Because if I have this disabled during the drought, and then I tweak this, no, it's still not. Unless I make the default state closed. <sighs> yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like there's a, a slight flaw with how this is how this is programmed. It's going to default to the whatever state this is. So as long as this, uh, when the drought is over, this goes back down to open, I think we'll be in good shape. I don't know. I think I should have, uh, should have been born a programmer brain is what I should have been. But, uh, I don't know. A little bit too advanced for my tiny mind here. Well, it's trial and error. We'll see what works. Sometimes I get comments where people are just incredulous of that I don't stop to look things up during the during the play, but I, don't know, I, I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of doing this style of unedited, quote-unquote, authentic gameplay video if I just stopped and solved all my problems by Googling instead of just figuring it out or waiting for you guys in the comments to, uh... Now why did that dry out? I'm not pumping water out. Where'd all that water go? I know it did. I know that didn't dry up in one day. If that did, that is some grade A unfamily friendly word right there. How? How how did that all dry up in one day? I know it did not do that in one day. That is absolutely insane. Well, these won't die in 6 days without water, but man, that sucks. <sighs> How is that even possible? Because this hasn't dried up. And there's nowhere for this water to go. Because this is this is all the way up. Unless I can get in here and I can see this. See this evaporating before my eyes. Which I don't know. I guess maybe I can if we take a look at where the, uh, where the cursor is. Wow, that is... Um, I think that's a, just a tad bit too aggressive there on the uh, evaporation stuff. That is pretty uh, unrealistic, I think. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we do have to put levees in place so the ground doesn't suck up all the water. Because that is. I mean, look look how fast this is going down. I can't even I can't even get this in. But like you can see it move. Yikes! Yeah, I'm I'm gonna hit that one with a uh, big old yikeronies. I don't know. Devs don't watch my stuff. But that is uh, woof. I'm trying to think of all the all the ways to express my uh, opinion about that without outright being a, a you know what. Yeah, that's uh, hmm. Definitely, uh, definitely a hmm moment. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Let's go ahead and just bring this in here. I'm going to use my single dynamites to get this down. And I don't even know if they're going to be able to get in here to uh, do this before the drought's over, but I do want to put floodgates, at least in this specific spot. And we'll have to uh, probably couple them to this same thing. We'll see what happens. I, just, I still don't even know if these are going to open properly when the drought's over. I just figured out a way to make that uh, kind of work. All right, uh, I should have prioritized the construction of the builder sets. That was a mistake not to do that. But again, what else can you do? Not really that much of anything. Okay, since I think we're... Uh, okay, we're going to have to start pumping water again, too. Um, I'm going to turn these guys on. I'll do those four. I guess I could do five. But I do want the builders to be able to build. I, I need to... I need to get this going. That was an interesting water physics there. 
But I need to get this going so I can actually have paths connect. I can't I can't wait forever to do that. So we have those eight going here. Uh, we've got to get that built. I got to get the rest of this stuff built. I know we have the extract. And I know we have the explosives. They just have to have builders come in here. It looks like now that we have, well, I guess 20 builders, we can actually make it happen. Yeah, they still haven't gotten anything done with that. Cutting trees down, obviously can't replant them until we have irrigation taken care of here. And that's something we need to, uh, we need to figure out is putting irrigation in. I don't know that I really need to worry about it that much. But it's definitely a concern. If this is the center of this island, which I haven't even, I haven't even, like, tried to figure out. Let's pause this here. That's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. 11, 12, 13, 14 here. I imagine there's going to be more than 14, or more than 13 on this right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that would make the center actually this guy, I believe. I know, counting time is fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 here. Okay, so this is exactly the center where this staircase is. So what I should have done, should have done is when I set this up, I should have had this path go all the way through, which I believe I can still, I can still do by setting that to be the uh, priority for removing trees. Oh, no, you know what? No, we have so much wood. We have so much wood, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of these. I will move the forester to face it this way, doorway here. Put that there, and then I will have some space over here for these uh, lumberjack flags to go. And what we're going to do is right here in the middle, we're going to have another one of these dumps. In fact, oh, no, I can just put the, uh, I can just put the forester on top of that. That's not going to be a problem at all. Look at, look at me making stuff complicated for no reason. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 here. So it's going to be slightly uneven, but if I come up, if I need a... I don't really need a 5x5 five five space, but I'm probably going to make one anyway. If I make a 5x5, five five, then I'm going to have to have here, here, here. This could actually be the back side if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. One, two, three, four, five here would give me four on the front and five on the back. I think I want that reversed. So this would actually be the back side here, which means this needs to be demolished all the way up to here. Yeah, we're not going to lose any sleep about these trees. There will be there will be no crying. There will be no weeping or gnashing of teeth or whatever whatever you choose to ascribe that to. But that is going to be, come on, there we go. I'm not going to make this a 5x5 irrigation. I'm just going to make it a 5x5 area that we clear. And the 3x3 will be the irrigation because that's pretty much all you need. But that will go in here and come up straight through there. And then we can actually take back all of this space for trees and it'll be centralized. So that's going to work nicely. I don't know if they're going to be able to get in here to remove these sooner rather than later, but we'll see what happens. And that, I guess, will be our model as we expand over to the rest of these. Would be nice to have that in place. And yes, I know we are running out of food because we don't have the... Uh, oh, this has also been completely sucked dry. Oh, and these also need to be unpaused when a temperate starts and paused when a bad tide starts. I did not have that set. Okay. So now we have that problem solved. Uh, we have water for the next three days, but now we don't have power. And because of how I have this set up, there's nowhere to put a power wheel. Hmm. What a, uh, what a problem we've created for ourselves, huh? Because now the only thing they can eat is going to be... We have, we have a lot of soybeans, we have a lot of kohlrabis that we can't process because we don't have the... Oh no, we don't have any way to power them because it's a drought. So, if that's the case, um, gears, we have so many gears. I don't want to get rid of these just to build, just to build a power wheel. That feels like that's kind of stupid. But that might be the only way to actually power these short of putting a bunch of, uh, a 
bunch of platforms over the river, which, you know, honestly probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea anyway. This is just really not set up, really not set up in a smart way for me to do that. So if that's the case, if I did this, it, it probably is the smart thing to do or the smarter thing to do. Nobody's nobody's going to get fooled into thinking this was actually intelligent, but uh, damage control, it'll be fine. We also need to put these eight in. Look at me, I'm already running out of time because I spent so much of my uh, so much of my time during these episodes to solve problems that don't necessarily need to be solved. Well, it's fine. All right, so those eight are going to be replaced with explosives. And I'm going to wait until all three of these are done before I blast this side out. But I think in terms of irrigation protection during a bad tide, this is going to be much better to have these uh, reached all the way out here. Now, we are making good progress with this, which is nice to see. Just have a little bit left here to get the rest of these out. And then this will need to be double dynamited as well. There's a reason why I did not go all the way out to the outside. So I think this is only, I mean, this is only nine. So that's not really going to screw us up that bad. But I do want to make sure I can get to the rest of this before we get too comfortable with the ideas that we've been messing with here. All right, double platform. That going all the way in. Should build that relatively quickly. I'm going to pause these two here. I know it's only going to provide 50 HP, but uh, it's going to be really important for us to start making this food because look how fast our supplies are going down. That's super, super important. But at least we've been able to harvest kohlrabis, whatever that's worth. A little, little bit of progress. It counts. It counts. Nothing to be, uh, Nothing to be ashamed of here. So now I can remove this as farmable tree space, reinstate this as cuttable. There we go. And they can take care of all that stuff. All right, so this is, well, it's working at half speed. That's got to count for something. <laughs> Every little bit counts, especially when you have not a lot of food. I told you we're we're uh, we're working on it, folks. We are, we're certainly trying. Oh, and you know what I didn't do? I didn't put in our tapper shack. But guess what? Guess what? It didn't matter because we couldn't use the uh, the wood workshop anyway. Now I want to know why they haven't gotten this tree out of here yet. That should have been pretty close on the list for this guy. Oh, well, he's going to go to bed anyway. Why Why is he going all the way down here to get wood out of that when he's... All right, whatever. Pathfinding in this game doesn't really make any sense to me. All right, so he's starving. Well, admittedly understandable because there's not a lot of food. It's not that dire of a situation, though. Be all right. He's a big boy. Now you're going to cut down that tree. And then the next one you do should be this guy. I guess I don't really need to be losing too much sleep over it. Oh, nope, he's going to do that one. All right, well, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. We still need the planks, which we actually don't have any more of because we've been building so many of these. Yikes. Um, hmm. Well, I think the food is going to be a little bit more important than uh, having planks available. Too bad I can't turn gears back into planks, huh? Well, this very clearly has not gone to plan. That is to say that a plan existed in the first place. And we're out of water, but we're not going to die. We're going to be okay. Let's just put these guys back to work here. And we will see what we're able to uh, get ourselves into, because the drought is just about over. And that means it's time to get these guys back in here at the industrial lumber mill. Industrially milling lumber. As one does. Yeah, there we go. Cycle 10 begins. So that's going to get paused. 
And now I can turn some of these builders into lower priority jobs. And they actually did get this dynamite in place, but I'm not going to blast this out because I don't have any planks. So that's going to be a, uh, a fun challenge for us here. Oh well, we'll get it figured out. These beavers sure are going to be hungry and thirsty though, I can tell you that much. So uh, normally this is where I would end the episode, but I am gonna, I'm going to have this run a little bit longer. Uh, just so we can try and see if we can recover from some of my, uh, shall we say, bad decision making. I'm not going to worry about building this yet at all. Okay, these have uh, opened back up. But now our problem is going to be and the water coming through here. So I'm going to just go ahead and open this since this is good water. We will uh, reflow. Get those guys going here. Yeah, here comes the uh, here comes the I'm hungry complaining. Is this prioritized by haulers? It is not. So whoever made the comment saying you're going to get absolutely dominated by hunger next episode, I guess you win a prize. Um, I don't know what that prize is, nor do I have the ability to actually ship you anything, but I guess you can have the satisfaction of being correct. Although, although we're not dying of hunger, we just don't have any food. But there's plenty to be harvested, and I think in the long run it's going to be fine. Just have to get, you know, forget. It. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of this tree. I, I was gonna wait for him to harvest it, but there's, there's not really any reason to do that. So this still, oh, this isn't gonna reach all the way, all the way over into the corner because I put the dams here. I should have started with the, uh, the dams going the other way. Oh, and I can't. I can't actually raise this because this is currently uh, currently dominated by the other uh, the other side here. All right, so if I there we go. I want this to have more water in it, but somehow I don't think I don't think this is going to end up being exactly uh, exactly the way I wanted it to. Let's let's try and shove more of this through here. So we, we got to get water flowing out of this. I know, I know it shouldn't have all been dams. It should have been whatever. Should have been whatever. You get to call me the idiot in the comments. I know that's a very, uh, a very fun thing to do. It's okay. I would do it to me if given the option. So let's pause. Take a second here. And figure out exactly how I was allowed to uh, commit such a treasonous sin against logic here. I guess that sure, sure is not the right way to be doing stuff. All right, so this might seem stupid, but I'm going to go ahead and detonate this dynamite. And we're going to come right back here with our double floodgates and pop those in place and set these as priority buildings. And the reason I'm going to do this is to force water to come out through this side and we hopefully will then be able to uh, get some irrigation and some water going through this way. I did not think it was going to dry up like instantaneously. That is just absolutely bonkers to me that that was even possible. Oh, the slumberjack has nothing to do. Okay. Uh, that means goodbye there. We'll unmark all of these trees for cutting and that gives us one more beaver that can do other stuff. So now we have our army of builders should have no problem uh, getting this built. I think we have enough. Well, we should have enough planks in theory, or we could, at the very least can make them quickly. So all I got to do is get water to come in through here. Then I can raise this. So we need to have this this wheel turning here. OK, pine resin needs a storage. Uh, needs a storage closer than down there. So what we'll do is we'll put in a warehouse just for right here. Remember, this is not the permanent location of all this. This is just the, hey, let's get through this part of the tech tree and then uh, solve our problems in a way that makes sense. Okay, so now we, okay, good. Now we actually have water coming through here. That's what we wanted. 
and this is set to 1.5, this probably should be permanently set to 1.5. So I don't think I'm going to change that at all. Uh, we still, still do not have food. Nobody's dying of hunger, right? All right, we're just in, uh, we're just in stupid land. Is that what this is? It's probably also time to continue building um, additional fermenters. I don't think these two are going to be able to cut it anymore. But we kind of, uh, kind of buried ourselves in a little corner here with how we have stuff set up, unfortunately. So I think what we're going to have to do, this, this water pump, for whatever reason, um, I'm going to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in additional platforms all the way down here. This power wheel does not need to be here. I'm going to make this into uh, two more fermenters. Cassava, this can also be cassava, this can also be soybeans. And we will uh, we'll let that be what it will. So that hopefully will help us get a little bit more of a handle on our food situation. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really reluctant in the episode here because this is kind of a <laughs> kind of a terrible spot to find ourselves in. But uh, let's see, I've got space here. One. Let me just count this again. Yeah, that's I think that's eight. Yep, I'm not that bad at math. Now we'll get that put in place, and then I want to come down here with our double dynamite and get that blown up. And that should be should be okay. I am not going to connect this with a, a little canal because uh, I'm afraid of this completely emptying out. We don't. We definitely don't want that. And one one water dump is not going to be enough to keep water in here. So we'll just uh, we'll just let this be for now. We'll see what they're able to uh, get accomplished here. It's just the food situation is astounding. Let's um, maybe prioritize our farms by haulers here. They don't have that much left to do. We just have to really get better at handling our uh, our food situation. I think I think having the additional fermenters is going to help a lot. But now, if I can stop these idiots from walking over the dynamite, hopefully, if I arm these individually, they should all go off at the same time and make it impossible for somebody to just walk over explosives. Let's see. Yep. All right, that was uh, about as easy as I could expect. All right, so that's in place. I do want to expand this, but uh, we're not going to have enough. If I went four more, plus they haven't even put this stuff in. If I went four more on either side, I would have run out completely. But this is a good start. It's a good enough start, I should say. Definitely not an ideal situation, but... It is an improvement, and that's what we go for, after all. Okay, we have uh, pine resin here. Pine resin here. It's not really being uh, a focus quite yet. Nor, sh nor should it be, excuse me. We just want to make sure we're doing okay, and we seem to be surviving, which isn't necessarily what we want to be our standard here, but, you know, you take what you can get. So that's going to go here. That's going to go there. This is going to get our fluid dump. This will get our forester. Yes, I know I can flip the thing. I just wanted to do it this way. That's fine. And then on the back side, we'll have... Nope, I didn't need to click the food thing. Those guys will go there, and I will have the tooth grindstone here. Now, of course, we're going to have to have storage for water as well. And that's not something that I've uh, factored into this. But we will put a uh, we'll put a storage tank over here somewhere. Uh, this log storage right here actually would not be a bad idea to just have water storage sitting right on top of this and have a ladder. But we haven't unlocked the large one yet. So we'll, uh, we'll have to wait for that, I suppose. This gatherer flag can also probably, well, it won't stay in this exact same spot, but it can stay in this general area once uh, this all is put in place. Now, food-wise, we have started to recover very slightly. 
Probably should have another farm or two. But we will get that sorted in due time. Just have to have these guys as optimized as we can get them. And we do have extra, do have extra beavers. So I can't help but think maybe we should, uh, maybe we should turn some of these other factories back on. I mean, we can't, we can't make explosives. We can't make, uh, this stuff. And we have full gear storage. So I really don't need to have these given any more stuff, but I think, I think we're okay. Okay. We're not perfect. Definitely not perfect, but we are okay. All right, I'm going to put one more fermenter here. We're going to make that for soybeans because we have so many stinking soybeans. And that's going to give us a little bit more production. We have the uh, beavers that can do that. So we also have the option now because of how this is set up. I know this is super ugly. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not that sorry, but I am a little sorry. I uh, got this guy. Guess what? Soybean time. And then we can continue to build along this side. I know this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, but it does kind of work. Kind of. It allows us to have the same power moved all over the place. I know the, the four right here is definitely not uh, definitely not what you want to see, but hey. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So what we'll do here is put in another small tank I guess I could just have this face that way. That's going to be for canola oil. Set to obtain. And then up here, we have space for two more of these fermenters, which I will build like this and like this. So we're going to do soybeans here, and then I'll have another one on this side for cassavas because... Oh, this hasn't had a thing selected? I thought I did. Okay. We definitely don't have a problem processing cassavas, but we will once we actually are able to grow enough. So anyway, that's looking better. I'm not going to say it's looking good because truthfully it kind of doesn't, but it is looking better. This forester can go away. This can get connected here. That can go away. That can go away. And what I will do instead is I think probably is going to behoove us to have two gatherer flags and then a little bit of storage. We'll go here and here for these things, uh, mangrove fruits, and we'll set those both to supply. And then right here, we are, nope, I got to click on this. We'll have this as all that stuff. Uh, this is going to be pretty instantly killed by all of the uh, bad water as soon as we have a bad tide. So I'm not going to plant the trees any further out than... Uh, I guess I could go two more here. Yeah, I'll go two more here, and then I will go... Well, I guess I could go all the way here, but I won't. I'll go two more here. The rest of these mangroves I should replant, but uh, until we have our stuff in place to prevent it from getting poisoned, I don't think we can. So this is still looking okay. I don't know how it's going to react to when we get a bad tide. I mean, it shouldn't be any different. I just have this kind of manually overridden. Our power production here is abysmal because we haven't uh, we haven't had this whole thing situated quite right. So do we have enough uh, planks? Not really, but I guess uh, I'm going to have to do this anyway. Let's just uh, let's just continue building the rest of these, because there's no reason not to have all of these situated like so. I'll give the builders something to do at least. We are, of course, going to have to detonate the rest of these anyway. Uh, and by these, I mean these things right here. So let's actually pause this again. Get the rest of this in place. And lay everything else out. We have the we have the wood to do this. The planks are going to be another story entirely. That's going to be something that takes us a little bit of time to actually get uh, finished. But something we probably need to be doing anyway. Nope, not that one. Yeah, get this all connected here. It's a process. And not a very intelligent one. 
at times, as uh, as you have in fact seen. But we will get everything built at some point. It's just going to be a little bit of a learning process, as frustrating as that can be. So I appreciate your patience as always. All right, one little bit here. And I know this is going to just completely run us out of planks, but uh, that is going to be something we need to actually do here. And if this is a bad tide coming up next, that would actually be better because then we can just actually keep running this. Because once, once this is all equalized, then uh, the water flow through here is going to be perfectly fine. I could actually just make this a levee so they don't uh, they don't have any water leaking out through here. But it's uh, going to be quite some time before we have the rest of this taken care of. I need to make sure we have this uh, in place here. I also need to figure out how these irrigation barriers work because I have never used them. I do not know if I can put it down in the bottom here if that's going to stop the water that is on top of it or if it has to be uh, on the side of the water. If that's the case, actually, I don't even know if I can build on top of them. I should find out. Let's uh, let's do that. Can I put a path on top of this? No, that is mm, that's a problem. Uh, okay, it says it stops soil irrigation and contamination from spreading beneath it. So that makes me think it might not work if I put it down in the bottom of some nasty water. But we'll find out. We don't have treated planks yet because we don't have. Uh, the ability to actually build this thing. So that's why that is the way it is. So I wonder which one of these these guys are going to build first. I guess it's probably here. Because that seems to be what they're uh, focusing on. But they could... Oh, okay, they can actually build from both ways. This is actually kind of lower now that I've... Yeah, now that I kind of blocked it off. Probably what I should have done should have done was do this one first because I, I know this has to be a thing and I only have so much dynamite I definitely want to put those there in fact let's uh, let's prioritize these uh, just so we can try to get something accomplished here yeah I'm gonna be very interested to see oh and look just like that we have 1100 1100 food I guess all I need is to do is build a huge mess of uh, of these stupid things Yeah, this definitely is, uh... Oh, is it actually still enough power? That's impressive. I did not think this would be enough. But it does seem to be functioning, kind of, so... I guess we can count that as a win. Alright, so the... Okay, they're kind of building a little bit everywhere. We'll take it. But if I can get at least two of these... Uh, directing the water back through here. I think that's going to help this out quite a bit because they're just not getting any power out of this. Not a smidge. But I, I really want... Well, I need more water stored up is what I need. But I really want to have some more bad water soon so I can, <laughs> I can make more explosives. That's a definitely, definitely causing us some problems here. All right, let's get these double floodgates put in place. Build those... And then we'll just leave those set at 1.5. We'll see what, what happens with that. Yeah, we're not gonna get to uh not gonna get to the rest of these anytime soon, but I will go ahead and put the dynamite in. And I'm gonna have to have all of this. Man, we are just uh We are we're certainly doing something. Yeah, get this all connected. Did I have to make it completely symmetrical? Probably not, but it is what it is. Yeah, water is going to become a concern uh, rather quickly. I know we have a pretty good amount stored. This probably should be set to obtain. This should also be yeah, prioritized. I mean, okay, this is working. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't uh, turn into a disaster. I have homeless beavers, seriously. Oh man, that means now I have to actually do something about this. Hmm. I guess. Oh, look here, I go with with even more platforms. I already can't make a 
enough planks to take care of all this. Uh, I was going to say, you know, I could just uh, could just build some more of this stuff, but I think it's going to be more important to have the, uh, the other stuff taken care of first, because this is... Yeah, that's in progress. They can actually finish this if they can manage to, you know, make enough planks to do anything. Uh, I think, based on the number of gears I have, and I have a limited amount of space. Okay, just a regular drought. That's not not fantastic news. Not fantastic news for us. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to just uh, figure something out here. I've got space here to put two of these in. I know this is kind of far away, but uh, this is going to be a protected reservoir for too long, and uh, that's gonna be that's gonna matter having access to that. I'm just gonna go ahead. Since we have the space here, go ahead and put those in. I guess there's no real reason for me not to connect these. Yeah, because these corners are not... Okay, well, there's trees in the way of that one and that one. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just kind of leave those two as other things. Let's super prioritize the pumps because we can just take our... Uh, why is it not letting me click this? There we go. We can take the beavers away from the builder's huts and not really miss too much. But we're really going to want to have access to these untapped pools here as they continue building these dams. I know it's not going to be uh, completely good to go, but uh, there is a pretty substantial amount of water, even if this is only one tile high and having four pumps here could possibly drain it. We'll see what happens. But... Uh, you know, incremental progress is still progress, even if it's not something that is incredibly uh, encouraging or smart or particularly well done. You take those things. You can take those any day of the week. Now, the rest of this isn't going to really matter to have done because uh, these dams aren't in place. But I am glad this one is, because that's going to give us a little bit more water. Uh, once we have bad tides come in, we are going to have to have these uh, floodgates automated, but that obviously is not going to be next. And uh, the duration of the drought will have to be the next episode, because this is already a very long one. But hey, um, probably, what, 20-some percent of you guys who uh, answered the survey said you wanted videos longer than an hour, or longer than 90 minutes even. So, you know what? Today's your lucky day. You're, you're going to get a long one. It's just unfortunate that all of this water is going to go away. And I'm not going to have a way to actually uh, keep any of it in here. Just because of the way this is set up. In fact, this this dam probably does does need to be levees. Can I, can I get away with doing that? If I just get rid of that. Nope, that's the dam pieces. I need that to be levees. Let's high prioritize that. Is that in range? Well, it will be, yeah. I want to... Please don't crash. Thank you. Uh, I want this to be able to hold all the water back because this is already all the way up. So if that's all the way up and this is all the way up, this can actually fill uh, so it doesn't completely evaporate. So we'll see if that works. I think it's possible. This is already working out pretty well. I don't know. Well, I guess this hasn't been closed because there's no... Yeah, there's none of that going in there. They're slowly making their way around here. Not that it's really going to matter that much. But we do have beavers here working on pumping. They probably do need to have some additional storage. But I need the planks for other stuff. And we can have these guys keep going uh, during the drought when these get paused. I will not pause these. So they can, they can just pump this whole thing dry. Yeah, I really, really wish I would have started uh, damming all this up earlier. Because I could have avoided a lot, of, a lot of problems here. But uh, all that being said, our storage of the fermented soybeans is just about full. But I don't have any more left. Well, okay, unfermented. We're going to want to have more soon of the uh, fermented soybeans. In fact, I'm just going to make this... Fermit nope, that's cassava's fermented soybean storage. Because we're probably never going to have enough raw soybeans that couldn't just be stored in the farmhouse. Just want to make sure we have a lot of this because it's they're, they're going to go through it real quick. 
But the good news is, if uh, this is just a regular drought, which it is, uh, we're not going to have any problems with all these kohlrabis dying, so we can continue to plant them, and we can continue to harvest them. I don't have the extra beavers to do the uh, additional farmhouses, unfortunately, but I think we're going to have to uh, going to have to put another one in. Maybe not over here. Maybe it does have to be over here, but that can be a next episode thing. We're just about out of time for this one anyway. We'll have to uh, get into the rest of this as we uh, advance through the next episode. But even with as much as we didn't get accomplished today, I think we can still be pretty happy with what what we did. This is going to be nice to have this uh, irrigated from the inside. We still need to have water. We do have water here that they can run over and get, but I do want to eventually get this large tank uh, unlocked, which I guess I could build now. I just don't really have the uh, all the resources for it. I don't have the planks specifically. We're going to need to get our plank situation taken care of because all of this is going to stop working in, well, pretty much now. And we don't have any other way of powering this because I got rid of the, uh, the other thing. So let's just hope that 94 beavers can survive off of 972 fermented soybeans. Uh, because yeah, it's not going to be, uh, not going to be great otherwise, but that'll be a next episode problem for sure. And the construction will continue and all of this other fun stuff. So we have some food over here. We got some food up here. We just have 11 homeless beavers we've got to account for. And I really wanted to avoid building more stilts, but I could have just, you know, built one of these up on the land, which I guess I will also do. Just get that put in. Did they finish this? They did. Good. The only bad thing is that now uh, there's still not a lot of water in here, and this is... Oh, this is basically already uh, basically already completely empty as it is. Because, no, that's full. So what's up with that? Maybe that's why it evaporated so fast. It really shouldn't have been, because all the water should have been coming through here. But let's, uh, I guess, let's see what happens when this, when this gets closed up. That should automatically just slam shut the start of the drought, and it did. Okay, so, nine-day drought, worst-case scenario, which thankfully is not very bad. Now, all of this is paused because there's no water flow. Uh, we have 870 fermented soybeans, 240 berries. We have a bunch of kohlrabis that will continue to grow and be harvested. And we're going to continue to grow and harvest the, uh, well, everything else. We just can't process it. So now it's time to pause all of this. Because they quite literally cannot do anything. Now we have 14 beavers that have no jobs. So what does that mean? I know I said I was going to end the video here, but... But let's, um, let's just for a second, just for a second, get these guys going here. I will build these four, and we will have construction beavers. Let's do a bunch of construction while we are working next episode. But uh, obviously the large barracks comes first. And that is going to be it for today. I know it's a... Uh, a long episode, so hopefully you like the long ones. If you don't, well, you probably already clicked off the video, so I guess we don't need to worry about that. But we really appreciate you guys being here, and all of the enthusiasm and support that we've had for this series has been really cool to see. There's plenty more coming. We're going to have another episode of this on Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be the folktales, and then having this on Tuesday is going to put us back in our regular rotation-ish, so to speak. So we'll, we'll get that rocking and rolling and then uh normally it would be a folktales video but if i put that on monday then i can come back to this on tuesday and get a little bit caught up water beavers on wednesday looking to hopefully uh wind that series down within the next week or two and then start fresh in the new water beavers after the new year because that's uh that's been an update five experimental for a while they're still working on some of the kinks but there's a lot of interesting new mechanics and uh, stuff that's been changed i think it would be a fun uh second run of that series but, yep, that is all we got for today. Stay safe, have fun, whatever it is you're doing. I appreciate you, appreciate the Beard Boosters as well, all of their contributions. And I hope we'll see you again soon in the next video, whatever series it is that you're keeping up with. Glad you're here. Glad we get to share this time together. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.